This is the book of Revelations, chapter 13 and verse 15. And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the whole for light and the one third scattered abroad. Barakatha to the Akiyam, out there pushing his word with truth and in sincerity. Barakatham to the Akwathiyam, out there that's listening in. This is Brother Kasai Gadal out of the prophets in Babylon camp here in Tampa, Florida. Yahweh, being who the word ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai, being who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Here with another quick hit, defeat the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Straight to the point. Revelations 13 and verse 15. And he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right, man. So you got you got Sleazy E out here, you know, pushing a NWO, man. You've been hearing about a lockdown coming all across the nations. You know, they haven't they pushing this this these draconian laws. You know, you got nations rising against nation, you got the people going against the military, you know. And the, and you call and it's and it says Salakia, and it calls that as many that would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right, man? So if you don't if you're not going to, you know, us brothers in the truth, if you're not going to to bow down to they to they draconian laws, to they NWO, man, you're gonna be killed, man. You're gonna be killed. And you have to you have to understand that that's what comes with this thing, man. And praising you how about Shimon Al Shah, man, you gotta understand. It's do or die in this thing, man. Do or die. And 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 you two thirds out there that don't wanna that don't wanna repent, that don't wanna come back, man, your ass gonna fall. And you going and you gonna worship that image of the beast. And you gonna be marked and it's gonna and, and it's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for you, man. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 12 and uh, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Therefore rejoice. Therefore rejoice, man. And it means, and rejoice goes into what? Being glad, being happy, being satisfied. You see? Ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Doesn't Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, his only begotten son, dwell in the heavens? Right, man? So you're supposed to be glad that our power is in the heavens, man. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe. Woe going into destruction. So destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, man. Destruction. Why? Because for the devil is to come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's why you got Sleazy E out here pushing his NWO so hard, man. That's why you got Sleazy E out here talking about, uh, you know, they just came out with another, uh, another, another juicy juice. You see, a whole new, a whole new variant, man. You see, he know he got but a short time, so he's trying to hurry up and establish everything that he can establish, man. But it ain't gonna work. Why? Because all of it is all of it is in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Al Shah, man. He's putting the spirit on them to do this thing, man. So regardless of how quick Sleazy E try to move, it's all in the power and in the hands of Yahweh by Shema Al Shah, man. So what are we supposed to be doing right now? We're supposed to be rejoicing on the heavens, man. All right. You supposed to be rejoicing on the heavens because this NWO, man, this lockdown that's gonna be coming, they just said that. Uh, before they was talking about on the fifth, which was yesterday, the five G towers was gonna roll out. Now they pushed them back for two weeks, and I had a crazy dream last night about it, man. Motherfuckers finna start dropping like flies, man. You see, so therefore we supposed to rejoice and ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, man. 
we supposed to be rejoicing on you. How about Shimei man? You see? Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. The word of my patience. The truth. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. That temptation is what? The MOTB. The NWO. The draconian laws. And so forth and so forth, man. Everything that Sleazy E got trying to come down on to you, man. Yeah, how about Shimei Asha? I say he's going to keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So everybody on this earth, man, is going to be tried, man. Everybody on this earth is going to be tried. And then that's when we're going to see who really believes and who has faith and who trusts in. Yeah, how about Shimei Asha, man? Scriptures say faith without works is dead, man. Dead being alone. So you can have faith, but if you don't have no works and you're not showing no works, man, what that's going to mean? You don't believe, man. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Right, man? Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. Hold what fast? Hold on to this truth. Hold on to the word. Hold on to the doctrine. That no man take thy crown. We all have that spiritual crown in our hand right now, man. We all have that crown in our hand. Through the spirit, not physically, but through the spirit. So you got to make sure you have works up underneath your belt. You got to make sure you're rejoicing on your how by Shimei Al Shai. You got to make sure you're keeping your faith in your how by Shimei Al Shai so that no man takes thy crown. Because when that time comes, and like we just read in verse 10, starting at the end, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So if you get tried and they come down to it, and they saying, oh, you either got to go to a, go to a, 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 a camp, go to prison, or, or or any of those other, you know, things that could possibly happen to you. Go to the guillotine. You got to hold that fast, man. You got to hold on to the truth. You got to hold on to the doctrine, man. Because then you have about Shimei Shai is going to give you that crown of life, man. You it's, do, it's, it's life or death in this thing, man. Either you're going to bow down to the image and try to continue to, to, to build here. Or you're going to have faith in you have about Shimei Shai, man. And I don't know about you, but I'm a rather I rather dwell on you how by Shimei Al Shai. I'd rather keep my faith in you how by Shimei Al Shai, man. You see? Another pre-sub, man. We 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 going straight to the point with it, man. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 4 and verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord Yahweh Shai shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death. Right, man. Strive for the truth. So being that you in this truth and you know this truth, man, strive to the end all the way into death because that's what it's going to take. Some brothers may die in this thing. Some brothers may may have to go to, to, to FEMA camps. Or some brothers may have to go go to the guillotine, gas chambers, whatever it is, man. But you got to strive for the truth all the way into death. And the Lord Yahweh Shah will fight for thee. Look at our old times, man. Look at our forefathers. You see, some brothers had to go to prison to get brought up out of there. Some brothers had to get tried in the fire to get brought up out of there. You see, that's because why they strove, they strived for the truth all the way unto death, man. They knew at the end of the day, my father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh was going to save me, man. He was going to fight for me, man. And that's what we have to be. That's what our mindset should be, man. All of us, brother, all of you brothers in this truth, you got to strive for the truth until death, man. I ain't nothing else worth having here, man. You can't fear to lose shit here, man. Not your car, not your woman, hell, even your damn kids, man. If it takes for you to die in this truth, to save your kids, then that's what it's going to take. Or to save your family, then that's what it's going to take, man. 
another precept. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Isn't it speaking right now? Every time you turn around, they talking about the NWO. You got, you got, they passed a bill saying that, that, that the nuclear weapons are only going to be used for defense mode. With, with, with putting Biden in, 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 in the China dude, I don't know his name, you see? So they passed a bill trying to say that it's only going to be used for for uh, for uh, uh, defense mode. But just like Psalms 55 and 21 says that they, they words were smooth as butter, man. You can't believe that shit. Because at the end of the day, if they don't work, if they don't care about killing their own fucking people, you think they're going to give a damn about killing you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians? No, man. And not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. That word tarry means to delay. So, yeah, it may not be happening right now at the moment that they speak of it. But just because it's delaying, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. It won't tarry, man. It won't delay. They trying to make this thing come like this, man. You see? That's why they constantly pushing it more and more and more as you see, man. Reading back from the top, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith, man. And that just being who? That hope for elect. That, that one third true believers, man. Of who? You how about Shema Shah, man? The just shall live by faith. Because the soul of these damn uh, sleazy E ain't upright, man. He don't have a father he can go to. Scripture said the deceiving and deceive are his, man. So you how about Shema Shah got these devils put in this, this NWO, pushing this NWO like this, man. You see, you hearing the rumor of the wars, you seeing all of the, you seeing all of the uh other 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 countries. I just seen a video last night. A dude was going into McDonald's to go get um to go get a uh uh get something to eat, you know, and it was saying that you had to have a green card. We all know what that green card is, man, that Juicy Juice card. And if you didn't have your Juicy Juice card, as soon as you put that you don't have it, it takes off the screen to where that you can't eat. So that's all a part of that NWO, man. And Sleazy E know that he got a short time, man, so he's trying to get everything up and running and cracking. Thinking that it's going, thinking that he has a, a, a longer time period, man. When he don't. When he don't. Precept. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 28. The hope of the righteous, the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Right, man, because all of the brothers in the truth are what, man? We hoping for that righteous, man. We are hoping to be joint heirs with Yahweh by Shem Shah, man, ruling this earth in righteousness, man. It ain't gonna be no more wickedness, man. And you down and down sleazy eat, man, your ass is gonna be fucking finished, man. You're going to be finished, man. But the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Right, man. So all that you did to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, you're going to have to eat that. You're going to have to live with that, man. You've been, you've been, you, 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 Sleazy E, you've been, uh, um, you've been feeding off of, of, not Salakia, not necessarily feeding off, but you've been... <coughs> <clears throat> Salaki, you've been living off of, you know, off of the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, all of this time, man. All of this time. But your time is coming to an end, man. Your time is coming to an end. And you think that your NWO going, going to, uh, is going to, uh, is going to, is going to be in effect? Nah, man. Because as soon as you, as soon as you drop all that, man. Yahweh writes out, man. Yahweh by Shimei Arashah comes, man. And slay the shit out you, man. And slay the shit out you, man. 
This is the last pre-sub, man. This is Ezekiel 33 and 33. And when, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. Right, man. So all of you, all of you jakes out there, all of you jakes out there that, that, that walk past us, when you see us brothers out there on the highways and the hedges, man, and you scoffing and you mocking and you don't want to get it, you two-thirds, man, you wickedness, man, y'all going to perish, man. Y'all going to die a horrible fucking death, man. And y'all going to know that a prophet has been among you, man. Y'all y'all see the post that the brothers post on their social media. Y'all see them out there on the highways and the hedges. Y'all watching these videos too, man. Y'all watching them, especially if you subscribe to a brother. But you still ain't going to want to get right. Why? Because you so caught up. You so you you're so caught up in this world, man. You are still in that darkness, man. You need to come back to your how by shimmy our shot, man. So hopefully this video was edifying to you. If it was edifying to you, it was edifying to the lay. I want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakhakodash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone who do teach and rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutation to the whole for elect and the one third out there scattered abroad. Barakatha and Barakatham to the Akiyam out there pushing his word with truth and sincerity and the Akawathiyam out there listening in. Until next time, Shalom.